Hey everybody, this is iLad, and we're back for another episode of Red Panda Skylines. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, instead of building on our city, we're actually going to be in the asset editor, and we're going to be working on building some custom parking lots. Now, I know that a lot of City Skylines players have strong feelings one way or the other about parking lots. I just want them because they do sort of help make a city feel a little bit more alive in my opinion um <laughs> if it bothers you how parking centric and and vehicle centric uh american road systems are you know <laughs> well that's where i live that's what i'm used to so uh you know it is what it is uh so we're gonna be working on building our own custom parking lot assets i'd much rather do this than download somebody else's work off the workshop quite sure that there is better content on the steam workshop but uh i do enjoy sort of reinventing the wheel as often as possible uh, mostly i'm not going to really talk through this episode i'm just going to comment on a few things uh, as as we go we've got a few different types of parking lots planned out here today so hope you enjoy watching me fiddle with them a little bit of course, the last part of doing any kind of custom park asset is always figuring out what values to type in these boxes down here. It'd be really awesome if the game actually looked at like the size of the lot or anything like that and set reasonable values based on that just as a starting point, but it doesn't do that. And to be honest, I never have any idea what to put in any of these boxes. I have very little frame of reference. Like. <laughs> I don't really pay that much attention to the stats of existing parks and in any case I'm not really building a park I'm building a parking lot and so the same rules wouldn't apply anyway and I don't know it's just it's my least favorite part of the thing but it is what it is
So I had this idea, like, obviously I can't build every possible size of parking lot that I'm ever going to need. So I wanted to build sort of a, a modular, tileable parking lot system where if I place a bunch of these down side by side, it'll look like one coherent lot that was designed as a single asset, even though it's not. Uh, so I'm trying to, uh, I'm actually going to build a series of these in different sizes. And you're going to see me try to make sure that like driving lanes kind of line up from one to the next and the pattern of, of light poles should be similar and hopefully when I'm done I'll be able to set an arbitrary number of these kind of side by side and it'll work really really great maybe <laughs> now I am quite sure that as I'm working on several of these little modular tileable parking lots that uh, I am being really inconsistent with the actual values that I'm putting in for the uh, for all these statistics and you know what I was already not doing a great job with this anyway so why should I start being awesome now <laughs> all right well that pretty well wraps it up I'm gonna come in later and I'm gonna do a, uh, a mirrored version of the one before because um, the idea for the one by four is actually that it's going to help uh, transition from the four square deep or four unit deep parking lots to the, the shorter ones. Um, and, and I'm going to need to be able to do that in two different directions. But y'all don't want to watch me make basically the exact same parking lot again. Uh, <laughs> so we'll leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, I hope it inspires you to go out and make some custom assets of your own. And uh, I hope to see you back for the next one. So if you haven't already, maybe consider parking yourself down on that subscribe button. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and hope to see you back. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.